Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a second example, another example um, that's asking us to find the n. Okay, asking us to find the n. So here it is. Please pause the video and try to understand the context of the problem. Okay, welcome back. So here we can see that my probability. So we're talking about fuses. Uh, and then it's about faulty fuses. The probability for faulty fuses is 0 0.01. They want us to find the largest sample size. So again, I don't know what's my n, and then we need to find that. What is the largest sample size that can be taken if the prob probability that there are no faulty fuses, no faulty fuses? in the sample must be greater than 0 0.5. So let's set up our random variable. My random variable here represent number of uh, number of uh, faulty faulty fuse. Number of faulty. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to write number of faulty, okay? So, they want us to f they want us to find um, the probability Actually, they want us to find the, the sample size when your faulty fuses is equal to zero. No faulty fuse, right? No faulty fuses is greater than 0.5. Greater than 0.5. Okay. Um, so my random variable x is binomial, binomially distributed. I don't know what's my n, so keep that as n and the probability is 0 0.01 okay so similarly we're going to use the formula um, over here this formula we'll need that to help us out so let's put that down so this is a bit easier the probability for random variable x equals to 0 I will have n0 the probability of success, which is 0 0.01, in other words, the probability of faulty, that's what we are, that's what we are interested in, to the power of zero, multiplied by 0 0.99. Like one minus 0 0.01 gives us 0 0.99. So I'm skipping one step here. This will be n. Right, this is my left hand side. That's what I have over here. We'll, we'll, uh, we will connect this greater than 0 0.5 later on. So now. Let's try to simplify this. That gives me a 1. This gives me a 1. So I have 0 0.99. N is greater than 0 0.5. Sorry about the handwriting. And next I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to take natural log to both sides. So I'll have N. LN of 0 0.99. is greater than ln of 0 0.5. Now be careful with this. If you put this in your calculator, you can see that my ln of 0.99 is actually a negative, val negative value. So when I, di when I divide that to both sides, my inequality sign has to be flipped. Okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, so my n has to be less than, uh, it has to be less than, how much is that? If you put that in your calculator, you should get um, something close to approximately 68.96 blah blah blah. Okay, so my the largest, the largest sample size I can have will be 68. Okay, and that's it. That's it. Now, uh, if you think about this, let's try to again put this uh, into context. What are we, what have we just found here? Okay, so if you think about this, um, they are saying that we sh uh, the largest sample size, the largest sample size for uh, the probability that have uh, no faulty fuses 
must be greater than 0.5 so and that is 68 I can um, we should get the maximum sample is 68 so that we have um, more than 50% chance for getting no faulty false, no faulty fuses so if you think about this let's say today um, uh, I we opened this fuse company and then there's this there's this uh, this person maybe from the some accreditation or some some company that 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 kind of supervise um, the sub companies to make sure that there's quality of their their products right so they will come to our factory and they want us to provide um, certain number of fuses and out of that out of those number of fuses they are just going to set randomly pick they're just going to randomly pick um, certain fuses and see how many percent are faulty how many percent are not faulty if you have more than 50 percent faulty then I'm going to shut down your factory okay so let's say today that is the scenario here all right so if you if you think about this if I provide let's say today I provide 68 fuses right and if I do that say today uh, so this is no longer n this is now 68 all right so uh, let's find the probability so let's say today I have chosen 68 I give them 68 of them and I want to see what's the probability for zero faulty fuse right so let, uh, let's use my final PDF final PDF where are you final PDF um, trials is 68 point zero one X is zero paste and I will get 0 0.504 I think that was that's what I said 0 0.505 let's just round it up to 3 3 SF okay so which means most likely I have a 50.5% chance for me not to get anything that's faulty right so which means in other words my factory will be open they will they will not shut me down however if I provide them if if I provide them instead of 68 if I give them 69 all right now with this I'm gonna use red so this is in red I want you guys to put this in your calculator <coughs> x is equal to zero here all right so we, we, we're, we're gonna pretty much do the same thing in the calculator but the only difference here would be the sample size so if I change that to 69 see what happens I have 0 0.4998 0 0.4998 so I, there, I, the chance the chance for me to get nothing faulty right, for me, the chance for me to get everything good is less than 50% and my, my company my factory will be shut down so there is a here in this case if I give them 68 um, in this box I gave them 68 fuses I have 50% more than 50% of keeping my comp my factory um, operating but if I give them 69 fuses if I give them 69 fuses in this large box I will have less than 50% of, of having all the fuses um, are okay so that's what um, that's kind of uh, the big picture of what we are doing here and I hope you guys understood that feel free to rewind um, it is very important to understand the context okay it's good that we have the answers but again um, we need to know what we are doing otherwise it's kind of pointless hope you guys find this video helpful good luck in exercise 15e see ya